Welcome YouTube, VST here at NSP Tech, and this is my beautiful Z Flip device. And I finally received the very first update, guys, since I bought this device. So if I go to software update, I see that there is an update. The update is AVHH. What is a bit weird is that the security patch level is still the 1st of July and the size is 354 megabytes. Now, what is new? Of course, my favorite type of changelog, really changelog without being so specific, but overall stability improved, security improved, and etc. So we are not really able to find any details. I even went to some mobile firmware, it seems to be really fresh. I think also the fault guys are getting it. So is the AVHH. This is the very first stable firmware update for this marvelous device. So I'm just going to download it guys, install it and test it for you. And while you're waiting, yeah, and while I'm texting, you might want to check my Z Flip 4 review. And also don't forget to check my Z Flip 4 camera shootout versus my S22 Ultra. Some very surprising results, guys. All right, stay tuned, buckle up, and don't forget to subscribe for the channel. The update was really blazingly fast, guys. It really went down probably for one minute. But yeah, it's 380 megabytes, but still was very, very quick. And that's my overall feeling for this device. Now, something very important, guys. Every time you do update your Samsung phone, there's going to be a message saying finishing system update. So my advice to you is just wait for this to happen and then also start Good Guardians and optimize your apps. Wait for this message to appear and then start Good Guardians to optimize your applications. In case you don't have it, guys, just open Samsung Galaxy Store and download it from there. Wait for the installation to complete, then open it. If you're a fan of intros, just check them. Good Guardians, privileged utilities for your Galaxy and also battery saving, manage and extend battery life, performance booster, right? Then just hit here, get started. And once you're inside, guys, you will need to install the Good Guardians agent it will not really work without it perform this installation as well and just get ready once you're inside good guardians you need to click on galaxy app booster and then install it because remember all of these individual tools are modules so they will require separate installation open the tool and let it check your phone now you can hit optimize now and then you can choose to only optimize applications in the past three days now because it's the first time i will optimize all of my application guys remember this do this every time you do update your firmware your phone will just behave better now let's optimize my phone and let's go back to test the latest firmware all right so i have optimized all of my application guys and what i'm going to do right now i am going to just go back to my home screen and start with a test the first thing i would always like to show is the update change log but again information is missing right now so we don't really know if there are any new things and etc i will guess we'll find out while using but home screen animation is something that it is always and i start with my beloved test it's a very simple test i always do this on my samsung phones all right flawless Okay, we all know this doesn't really work nicely on my S22 Ultra, but it has the Exynos 2200 and it also does have the WQHD resolution because it's proven that when you use a lower resolution like the FHD Plus, it's absolutely flawless. And guys, I have been using the Z Flip 4 for probably two weeks already and I started thinking that perhaps WQHD Plus is just an overkill. Why? I'm not sure, but why do we need this, guys? It's perfect and it runs so well. And maybe I don't need to lower my expectation, but that's kind of the Android world. Of course, the Samsung Android world. So this animation is perfect. Let us go inside settings. All right, cool. All quite nice. Okay, one more time. Animation. Let's go to wallpaper and style. It all works quite fluidly. I'm just going to go there and let's say change the color palette. I'm just going to apply it and boom there it is you can just see how quick it works and there seems to be no luck so one more time the home screen animation okay now let me just go down and see my notification this gesture also was problematic now it's absolutely flawless now let me just go down and unravel all my quick toggles absolutely perfect there no lags whatsoever now while i'm still on my home screen i'm gonna go to the right actually going to the left and checking my google home mm. That was kind of this slow moment that the phone was just, all right, should I do a stutter right now or not? 
very fluid by the way not a problem at all and uh, yeah, I can just see it all really works quite nicely now it's time for me to show you the system information as you can see we have the Android security patch level from the 1st of July and here we do have the build number so it is AVHH FVM and this is the very first stable official stable firmware that I'm getting from Samsung we all know that the Z Flip 4 has only in brackets 8 gigabytes of physical RAM so just want to see the memory usage right now we see that 4 gigabytes are almost second the performance is normal reserved 900 for the system things the average usage is like 56 percent available memory 3.1 which is not that bad at all and i can just see and go back one day before and just check so okay it's not so bad at all the memory usage you can just also try to see which is using you know the most memory and as always of course is the main os so once we get this out of the picture i think it's quite okay now guys let's just try to see the blur animation so i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna open this folder and what we are observing here is how the background now we'll gradually just try to blur itself off which is something that i really love about one ui right just just pay attention guys okay pay attention right no lacks whatsoever it does really seems to be just perfect while i'm on the home screen i'm going to just check my other pages all right and then go back to my home screen quite nice now it's time for me to also go inside and check this animation all right one more time and check the up drawer boom everything there all right just seems to be flawless so i really am very happy with this let's flip 4 i'm not sure is it because of the snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 compared to my exynos 2200 from the ultra but it does feel quite so nice and with that said guys i'm going to try to open some folders and some applications so that we can just check the animations and etc starting with telegram quite nice all right messenger all right let's open facebook all right and now let's open guys the reasons menu okay you can see here guys i do have my hint some people suggested a while ago that this hint can improve you know the way you use your phone and specifically improve the stutters or let's say reduce the stutters right i'm not so sure about this but i really like it it's very helpful and i just use it okay recent menu you can just see guys all the applications absolutely flawless not a problem at all let's just now open twitter and let's just check this famous twitter scrolling i think probably the best twitter in android here on the flip because we know that the twitter application has problems but yeah the scrolling here quite nice and then going outside boom not a problem at all now let's open guys the gallery i'm gonna go inside my screenshots let's just try to see how this behaves this was causing problems to my s22 ultra right and of course there i have thousands of pictures here i have probably a few hundred but yeah you can just see guys it pretty much works okay not a problem at all right so it seems to be that it is working very 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 stable guys and now since we got this out of the picture i would love really to run also a gigabench and you know there is this strange relation between samsung and gigabench samsung tried to cheat and then Geekbench was not so happy with GOS, you know, just giving some priority for this or that and kind of like Geekbench at the end, um, just the list Samsung. Anyway, I'm not really a very happy user of benchmarks, but it's kind of like the necessary evil just to check some things around. And let's just see how much I'm going to get out of my phone that is really freshly updated and freshly optimized. So here we are updating the results and really I don't have any kind of expectation guys and yeah it's not really so bad and by the way my phone is even not set to DND so the single core score with this update straight after updating and optimizing which means that the phone is not so cold at all single core score 1223 multi core score 3630 which is not that bad i can just show you guys the first time i did the test was on the 19th of august guys and i was never able to get past 1000 which i know is kind of really bad for this chip but okay this really seems to be quite nice and as we are here i'll probably run another benchmark to just see what are we gonna get out of 
3D mark and as you can just see guys it's the first time really that I'm just running those tests so I'm literally installing this test for the first time and what I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna run the test exactly after the installation which everybody knows even the kids in school that's not really the ideal option but I told you guys I don't really have high hopes in fading the benchmarks but I just treat them and use them as a the necessary evil so without any further ado guys i'm gonna run the 3d mark and then let's have some fun and before i wrap up the video i will be testing the camera animations opening and closing and also the camera shutter but first things first let's just see how much we're gonna get from 3d mark okay so 1822 voila okay average frame rate 10 my score better than 53 percent of all the other devices the battery drop only one percent the temperature increase only one celsius so i would say it's kind of okay now what i'm gonna do guys i'm just gonna go again inside my recent menu close everything and the final test is gonna be animation opening or i'm gonna put the front camera so that you can just see when we have game so opening closing there were some times, right, some of you might remember, where this was not so fluent at all. Let me just go to video, guys, and I'm just going to do the same. Oh, okay, here I think there was like a very small, very slow stutter. Now let me just go back to photo, okay, and what can I tell you, guys? It feels really flawless. I can tell you, I never achieved something like even close with my Galaxy S22 Ultra, sadly. And now, guys, the last test is going to be the shutter speed, so let me just do this for you. Okay, not that bad, guys. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you like videos like this, guys, don't forget to also subscribe to my channel. Please, you and your family, stay safe until we meet on one of my next videos. And with that said, VST over and... Bye!